the assistant's going to make the first incision. In any autopsy, the classical way of beginning it is by making a Y-shaped incision, starting on the chest and then extending downwards to the uh, pubic area. This allows full exposure of the various body cavities while still maintaining a um, procedure which allows for um, an open casket funeral if that's what the family desires. What he's cutting through is subcutaneous fat and muscle. The first flap that he's reflecting um, will, is being done so that you can expose the neck organs, which also will be dissected out and examined as part of the autopsy. The individual that is being examined in this case, um, we suspect that the cause of death is a drug intoxication um, with amitriptyline, which is a uh, antidepressant medication. Um, but in order to prove that, we need. Huh? What they're noticing is that um, this individual has had a uh, breast implant. Uh, has had breast implants uh, placed. They hadn't noticed the scarring. Um, earlier, so it's a little bit of a surprise. And that's a silicone implant. Okay, what he's doing now is reflecting back, cutting the dia where the diaphragm or the breathing muscle attaches to the side of the body and exposing the peritoneal cavity or the abdominal cavity. The doctor's examining the loops of bowel, trying to find the appendix and uh, She's found it, and so she'll remove that. Um, we keep that as uh, basically as a way of helping us identify people. If they have their appendix in place, it's an identifying feature. Now the ribs are uh, being cut so that the chest cavity can be exposed. He's, now he's also cutting the next portion of the diaphragm and reflecting back the chest plate in order to expose the heart and lungs.